This program is brought to you by Coca-Cola. And we welcome back to another episode of Kai Time. We are at the Boroko Market, as you can see at the back, and we're going to get some ingredients for uh, Belinda to cook uh, her pumpkin rice. Now let's go inside and get some ingredients. Hello, hello, some blood, onion, only minutes. Okay, okay, make sure I'm blood. Now I'm going to make sure bonus. Oh, to what you now? We have some garlic here. We get some garlic. We we'll get one, one garlic. Get gingers here. Probably get one, two. Tomato. How much is this one? Tukina. Okay, I'll get the, I'll get tomato. All right. Thank you. Okay, we have a haupa here. Hello, this makes you want a haupa. Trita actually. One haupa. Two. Maybe two blah more right here, thank you. Okay guys, we already got our uh, ingredients over here and our pumpkin. Uh, now we're gonna go find something to eat. I'm a bit feeling a bit hungry, so we're gonna go to Apple Market at Waigani and find something to eat. Let's go. Welcome to another episode of Kai Time. I'm here with Julie Rex. Julie Rex, guys. Julie Rex is a local vendor here at the market. At this market, what's the name of this place of this market again? Hapo Market. Hapo Market. Hapo Market is located in the area of uh, Wagani office area. Now, Julie, can you tell me what type of produce you sell here? Morning, Miss Aigolo Gordon's Market. Miss Aigolo Gordon's Corn, Cow Cow, Taro. Pulau, avocado, mango. We sell karika, na we sell kampu, na we sell market. The customers sell kamp, na also kamp buy. Also kamp buy, I'm kaya. I've been on I'm finished. We sell go back lo house, I'm lo beginning. So seven more lo polo school. So how long you been making new stuff? Like my market, local market new stuff. Two thousand and two thousand. Ten and five. Two thousand and five. Okay, that's right. That's right. M3, M4, no, Santi Salim, and M. Miluki Baxi to Miluki, ma'am, Lipli, or ground blow, garden stuff, so you bless her. We bless her planning corn, peanut, or sometimes, sometimes, in rent time, we bless her planning more this like I say. Sometimes we bless her planning fat soy and all kinds of something else. We bless her growing more humo, sun. Now, rent, we bless her planning more this like corn and peanut. That's true because you must be the seasons like. Sun and then rain. Yes. Me life long plan, you know, good plan or all store kaike. So me tinti no se mem all kaike blo garden emo right. Lo help me pla. So me pla tinti go back lo papa mama how before tumbuna na all kaike se. All kare me pla time or se all give me pla des la all kaike. Me me pla kaike na staff strong, stallone pla time time no se. So, we think we must now make a plan to start this plan market. Now, we have no plan to cast our work to come. Buy more this plan again, and again, and also to thank you. We plan to see ten ten from plan to be the place. Yes, we can look you sell your work. One man, one man, one man, me like in the sun and corn. So, you just cook your corn. So, corn, I just cook. You just cook your long plan time or like fast one. No, I just cook. In a long plan time, we plan to be fire and I'm like long and we plan to cook and cook. We plan to see can put it on top of the table. So you were turning, turning, go up the side, up the side, cook, cook straight now. Yes. The rice now can put it on top of the table. No, customer come now. Well, thank you, Mama Julie, for having us here to, you know, 
you tell us your story and how you cook here and you start provide for the family in Okanoshan. Thank you, thank you for having us here. I'm gonna taste some of your cooked corns. Thank you. Welcome. Okay, here's our food here, guys. Uh, as you can see, we have a cow cow here. It's cooked on fire, on the fire. We have a corn here, really cooked, uh, really cooked. We have our peanuts. And then we have our pulao here. Now, I'm just gonna, just gonna go through and try to eat. I'm gonna taste the uh, corn first. You can taste the smoky aroma. Not aroma people from aroma, but it aroma. A smoky flavor. Smell. Mmm. I have a peanut here. Peanut spoon. I have a cocoa here. With, uh, straight from the fire. Uh, you see that it's really cooked well, even though it's under the fire, not under the fire, on top of the fire. It should cook really well. You should taste it. Mmm, that earthy, smoky flavor. Mmm, okay. Akula. Uh, just to wash it down, guys. You can come down to the market, uh, you can buy. You know, these, these are just, you know, tukina. Maybe it's tukina. Maybe the cocoa is a bit tricky now. Huh? And all of these, all these garden foods are really... Oh, fun fact! Fun fact about corn, if you guys don't know. Corn has been cultivated for thousands of years now. It, it's originated from um, North America. We are in a place that now they call Mexico. It's originated from that. And it's the third largest, um, third largest plant base uh, studs or food that people eat around the world it's 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 it's, it's the tail third, third biggest biggest so all around the world you see people eating corn well there you have it guys you can come down to the market upper market here and buy yourself a you know garden food and eat Hi, my name is Moala Mel and I'm the Operations Manager for Tribes Coffee Club. Um, Tribes Coffee Club, we come under the Hahurum Holdings Limited umbrella. Um, main company is Tribes Investment Limited and there are several businesses um, under our owner, Femin Joseph, he's our Managing Director. He hails from Mendi, Southern Highlands Province and there are several businesses under this. And Tribes Coffee is one of them. There's three outlets, and um, one is here at Ella Beach. That's just alongside um, Lost Road. The second outlet, Cafe, is um, out at Waigani Steamships Compound, Building 10, just um, near Hot Rooster. And one in the departure lounge at uh, Jackson's Airport. There's also a small outlet there as well. He refers to his kinsmen, like when they meet each other, they call each other tribes. So from my understanding, I believe that's where the inspiration to name the cafe or the business came from. Our menu ranges from coffees to a la carte. We have a wide range from starting from steaks to chicken. Um, and also menu from the sea. We have also pastries and fresh juice as well as alcohol beverages. Our operating hours are from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. and we serve breakfast, lunch and dinner. Our cafe boasts of a conference room um, that can sit um, a capacity of 20. The cafe itself um, holds a capacity of 70 people. We do catering as well. Uh, we currently do catering for the Prime Minister's office, SP Hunters, 
Um, just recently, the Labor Department, we did a catering for them for the Women's International Day out at the APEC House. So we also do outdoor catering as well, or if you'd like to hire, we do venue hire as well. Um, and also, we can come to wherever you are, yeah, basically. We have our social media pages on Instagram, Facebook, and also on LinkedIn as well. We also have our website, this hahurum.com. Um, you can have a look and skim through. So we have that ambient, it's different atmosphere when you come in here. It's quiet and it's just a homey feeling or other. Yeah, so I guess it's, I don't know, I, I like to think of this place as a den. When you walk in, it's just like you're at home, you're away, but it's still home. I don't know if that even resonates to people, but we just, I, I can't really put a finger on what I'm trying to say yet, but I guess the ambience is just different. Yeah, and our food is, is great. Like, you can slap on a 500 gram steak elsewhere. We serve the biggest chunk of steak here. I think, and in one block I get steak, why can I get steak? Like it's, you can't even finish one of our T-bone steaks here. That's just why, what sets us apart is the steak, the food here, the quality that we give out. Yeah. You can contact the Tribes Coffee Club on 321-0455 or visit our website www.hahorum.com or email us on tribescoffeec at gmail.com You can visit us on Facebook, Instagram and TikTok under the name Tribes Coffee Club. Good afternoon everyone. Uh, name is Augustine. We want to restaurant Suvaisa Lonia. I'm sous chef from Pita. And by working on a special dish from Pita where all these are called grilled chicken salad. So I'm by basically start one them oil, chicken, or stir fry vegetable. Now I'll sauce them and this time balsamic. Now this time black soy sauce. Finish part them and by making garnish. One time start this time uh, pin onion. Now this time almond. Oil. Put all vegetables in the pan now. I'm going to cook one time uh, chicken and grilling. I'm putting oil now. I'm going to start one by two or three minutes first time. I'm going to put more. Some of the mixed vegetables or uh, capsicum. One time, um, some of English cucumber. English bean, one time, all cherry tomato. By tanning, straight in. We'll make sure they're only grilled good. This time I'm by cutting chicken now. Now I'm by putting on top of plate. We'll make him come a final dish plan. And by putting sauce on top of chicken and uh, grilled vegetable. Okay, now I'm by putting garnish low, finishing. I'm almond nut. Now this time I'm Last time I put in a spring onion. This time my final dish for me is grilled chicken salad. If you just joined us, thank you for your company. This is Kai Time. We're bringing to you our outdoor kitchen from the beautiful Ella Beach. Thank you very much to the Ella Beach management team for allowing us to come here tonight to cook. Tonight I'm preparing creamed pumpkin rice. Now I know everyone has their own version of cooking their pumpkin rice, so I'd like to share with you my version. I absolutely love it. It's creamy, it's sweet and it's delicious and I'm hoping that you'll find that too as well. So, ingredients pumpkin it's already been grated 
You can just buy one at the local market. It's only three kina. You can find it as cheap as two kina too even. We've got our rice here, it's jasmine. You can cook with whichever rice you prefer. We've got our grated garlic, ginger, and uh, tomatoes, onions, our stock cube, turmeric for color and flavor. Not so much because it can kind of change the taste of the food. Salt, pepper, oil, and of course, our coconut cream. All right, let's get straight into cooking this delicious meal. So we have our pot here. We already started with our chicken because it takes a while to cook. That's just to complement the rice. We should get our stove to light. We'll wait for our pan to heat up before we add the oil. Normally what I like to do is fry the rice first with the with a bit of oil and the pumpkin, grated pumpkin with the garlic, just for flavor. And then I can add in the rice. And then I fry it around a bit first before I add the coconut cream and then I let it just sit. Okay, let's add our oil, our pot is hot. If you don't like to use normal vegetable oil, you can use whatever oil you prefer. I'm just using normal vegetable oil. I'm gonna use my garlic. So we've grated six cloves. It's entirely up to you how much you want to, how strong you want the flavor to be. We're gonna use half of it for our chicken, of course. And then we're gonna add in our pumpkin as well, our grated pumpkin. Gonna add a bit more. We're gonna add in our rice. And let's just mix that through. And then you can tell whether you wanna add some more pumpkin or garlic or... I don't think you need to add any more oil. We mix it through so that the rice and the garlic and the pumpkin doesn't get burnt. Everything is evenly mixed through. Okay, we're gonna add a bit of turmeric. Turmeric is just for color. I don't think I'm gonna touch it because then my fingers turn all yellow. So everyone's rushing to get to work or either go home. There's never a dumb moment in Mosby, that's for sure. But I guess that's why we love our country. We love our city. Okay, guys. Our rice is nice and yellow, thank you to the turmeric. You can, sometimes I like to add curry, it's up to you. I've just put in turmeric only, just to help with the balance in color, I guess, with the pumpkin. It smells good. And now we're gonna add in our coconut cream. Okay, let's add our coconut cream. This is the first cream. Obviously, if it's not enough, squeeze a few more. We've got our second and third cream here. I think our second cream went into the chicken, so this is our third cream. Let's just mix that through and check if our measurements are right. So our coconut cream is in. Our rice has been fried with the pumpkin and the garlic. Now it's ready to boil. We'll come back and check on the progress of our rice and our chicken. Let's check our rice. Ah, it's cooked. I think it's, we're ready to dish out now. Let's see how everything turned out. So this is our pumpkin creamed rice. Ooh, where's our plate? Plating preferences, I guess. You can serve it into smaller bowls. That way everyone gets an equal share. Our rice is cooked. It looks good. Let's put this on the side first and let's get our chicken out. Okay, so our chicken is cooked as well with our veggies, so we're just gonna dish it out with our rice. Just to complement it, we've got our greens, the alpa, or whatever you prefer. Let's get a chicken piece. Okay, the thigh part, everyone loves. Okay, let's not forget some of our soup. Okay, so there you have it. That's our creamed pumpkin rice with our creamed greens and chicken.
Okay, folks, thanks for another great episode. Thanks for joining Jordan and I tonight on Kai Time. People are slowly coming out tonight to embrace the beach, have a good time, unwind after a long day here at Ella Beach. It's a great place to come and have a family picnic and enjoy some family time, have a great meal with them as well. Thank you to Ella Beach Management again for allowing us to come and cook. Thank you so much for that. We will be at another great spot next week to try out another great recipe. Speaking of recipe, don't forget Kitchen Warriors. If you have a recipe and you think you're a ninja in the kitchen, we'd love to hear from you. Take a short video, be in it to win it. We have great prizes to give away. So you can send it directly to our Facebook page, our Kai Time Facebook page. And with that, thank you so much for joining Jordan and I tonight. And we look forward to joining you next week again on Kai Time for another great show. Coca-Cola.